Hello guys and welcome. So in this one I'm gonna explain flip flop in our flow control series and see what it does and when it's used. This is a pretty handy note and it has a lot of use cases in making game logic. Just right click and type flip flop and you can find it under your flow controls. This is a pretty straightforward note and what it does is that it outputs A when it's triggered and then if triggered again it will output B and repeat the same process. So let's use a print string to show what is going to happen. Let's type A for print string number 1 and B for the other one and connect them to the flip flop. If I connect my flip flop to event begin play, it will only run print string number 1 because it is only triggered once and output A is our only result. But when I connect it to an event tick which calls the code on every frame, you can see that it switches between them and outputs them one at a time. Flip flop has a lot of use cases, for example you can use it to open and close doors, attacking and defending states and things like this. For instance let's set it for a simple target visibility feature. I am going to add a cube to my blueprint so I can see it in my level and then I want to be able to switch its visibility by pressing E on my keyboard. Here in the event graph I have this setup here which enables us to be able to use our keyboard and give input to our blueprint. Just make an event begin play and enable input function and then connect it to get player controller like this and you are good to go. Now let's right click and type keyboard and add a key to our event graph and then go to the details tab and put it on E. Now I'm gonna connect it to my flip flop and what I want to happen is that when I press it for the first time I want my cube to get invisible and when I press it again I want it to set it back to visible. I'm just gonna add a set visibility function and then set it on invisible for A and then set it back to visible for B. Also make sure that your target is the cube we made so it sets the visibility for the cube and nothing else in your blueprint. Let's compile and play the game and now you can see that every time I press E on my keyboard I can switch the visibility for my cube. Yeah and that was a very quick introduction to flip flop and I hope you learned something new from this video. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.